ايش لو ما شاء الله ونص عرف سوز بجيب نو بريس ديا باشي ميا شاء باشي مكاكو داش دبل اونس دي اباسل دي جي ام اس ان اونسي براز دون وك دي موسا ان تروت ان سنسيرتي سيز اي ام كويك وان سيز اي كويك وان Uh, so this was shared earlier on uh, in the chat, you know, gave it, you know, it's, you know, when you flip through it, um, didn't really care what she had to say. Um, but basically, you know, for edification's sake, um, you know, for, for, you know, for other people that may come across the video or whatever, what have you. Right. Basically, I just left a comment and I was like, you know, you're being disingenuous here because I won't play it because, you, you know, you already know what's going to happen. Um, them copyright strikes. This is a this is a you know blue tick user, um, so you know that'll be a copyright strike. So I'm not gonna play it, right? But at 13, from around 13 minutes, at 30 minutes 11 seconds in, basically, um, she basically uh, plays a video of, uh, you know, I don't I don't know what camp this is, vessels of truth, um, and I say because yeah, we don't I mean we don't you know GMS don't you know wear. Like matching garments like that, but you know, but so I don't know whether you know whether they're you know what camp they are. But basically, she you can tell when you click when you watch the video, like I said, watch it and jump to that point. You can tell that she's purposefully cut off half the video because basically, what this guy is saying to this uh, uh, this uh, geezer there standing, you know, talking to them is like, look, you know, if the, she cuts it in a bit where he says, well, if your line goes back to the Edomites, then you'll be destroyed. Right, roughly paraphrasing, I forget exactly what he said. Right, so then us here at GMS, we know exactly, you know, I can, or rather, let me say, I can guess what preceded that statement because we say all the time, we'll be like, look, if your line goes back to Israel through your father, then you'll be all right. Right, whereas if you're, uh, 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 what'd you call it? Whereas if you are, uh, 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 if your line actually goes back to an Edomite, then actually you're going to be destroyed. Right? And that's the point where she clips in that second half. So she was being very disingenuous in that point. right? And I even made a point, just being fair, you know, like I said, you know, just looking from looking at that guy, I'm like, hey, he could be a Jake, I don't know. Right? But just, you know, for uh, for completeness sake, even in the comment, I'll say, you might even be, uh, 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 you know, an Israelite, man. You know, I ain't gonna make a claim to say you are, you aren't, but I'm just, I'm just saying that's just the way this thing works, man, right? Because we, we ain't, you know, you wanna talk to this whole black, we don't teach no black, and that's literally what this brother here on the right, I'm, I'm pretty confident that's what he had said just before that, um, but obviously to push the narrative, clipped it right then, because oh, you gotta understand our people are throughout the four corners of the whole earth, man. Right, you know, you got a uh, 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 people out there in the Philippines teaching the name of Yahweh Shem Yahushai. Right, you got people there in Africa teaching about the name of Yahweh Shem Yahushai. You got brothers in the islands teaching, brothers in America teaching, brothers in Holland, Germany, Italy. Right, everywhere teaching, man. Right, but why? Would you? What is? What do you guys want to do? You want to? You want to? A uh, 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 push. You know this. This. Uh, these lies, man. Right, but it's okay. It is what it is, you know. We know the, we know these things were to happen. For, why? Because it's foretold in the uh, uh, in the prophecies, man. That we shall be brought before kings, right? And that you know we shall be. Uh, it's gonna come a time of slander, right? You know. And this is an example because, like I said, what, what happened to my co comment, Lauren Chen? Huh? What happened to it? All right. So let's get some scriptures, man. It says, um. Numbers 118 says, and they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month, and they declared their pedigrees after their families by the house of their fathers, according to the number of the names from 20 years old and upward by their poles, right? So uh, uh, I'm getting this one out because uh, once again, I was going back to the point about it's all about your father's line, right? That's what the scriptures here are saying. You, you are what your father is. So what them brothers in this clip here, like I said, are more than likely saying, ah, oh, where did it go? What they're more than likely saying to that, uh, you know, Edomite looking geezer, right, is, hey, you could be a Jake, right? But depending on your father's line, if your father goes back to Esau, then you, you'll be an Edomite and you're going to be destroyed, right? Because she was like, oh, you know, it looks like you have certain white people who are, uh, uh, you know, following after their... um." What do you call it? Uh, you know, that basically being convinced by these guys, 
right? Well, once again, that's that slander, man. Basically saying that this guy can't think for himself, right? But hey, look, once again, it is what it is, right? Once again, like I said, you might even be a little, uh, 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 would you call it, Moabite looking uh, Israelite woman. I don't know. You know, like I said, I ain't watch your videos or whatever to, to, to make a case in point, but I'm just putting that out there simply because our, our people are scattered throughout the world. Right, you got a billion uh, so-called Chinese, bro. You gonna have? I've seen, I've met, I've met a Chinese woman. I was like confident that this is a Benjamite woman, right? That's how. That's how much of a. Because the thing with Benjamite women is, you hear them before you see them, <laughs> right? And bro was, uh, uh, bro could watch this. You go, you know, man. You hear them, them, uh, uh, uh Shanti women or them. Uh, 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 you know, I'll show you from West Coast, Ghana, right? You hear them certain uh, West Coast women and Benjamite West Coast women. You hear them before you even see them, man. That, that same kind of spirit, because ultimately that's what it all goes back into. It goes back into the spirit, man, right? This is Romans eight sixteen. It says, the spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit that we are the children of the most high, Right? And with some people, it's easier to tell than others, and that that's just that's just the way it is, right? Because there is this thing, you know. I personally refer to it as, um, for instance, Edomized Jakes, right? So that is a Israelite who's grown up around, so you know, a, a Israelite foreigner looks like a so-called white man. He's grown up around Edomites all his life, so he does Edomitish things. Right, and then if you're not, if you're none the wiser, you bless like, man's an Edomite. But then, as apostles go into, right, then you see that particular individual's children, and you're like, nah, this guy's a J. Or you see certain things that he they do, and you're like, nah, this guy's a J. I'll give you uh, an example: Hans Zimmer, the composer. God looks like a straight up Amalekite, but you listen to his music, and you're like, nah, this guy has to be has to be a J. If you got a a, a, a film that you're making, you get Hans Zimmer. If, if it's a blockbuster film and you want it to be the best film of the year, you get Hans Zimmer on that track, right? Why? Because he is the best of what he does. And script, hey, that's, <laughs> you know, you ain't going to have no heathen better than uh, Jake, at, you know, being talented, man. Um, uh, where is it? Is it Matthew 5.13, is it? Yeah, it says, ye are the salt of the earth, man. Right, and just like when you're cooking, you need to have that salt there to, you know, spice up the food, make make the food a uh, 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 flavorsome. And like you can, remember bowls of reason on this. You could put in uh, 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 your, what do you call it? You, you know, your 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 chili, your you know your your oregano, your whatever it is, however you like to cook. Right, you can put all of that. But if there ain't no salt there, you are gonna be like, man, what the fuck is this shit, man? Right, but that's Israel. Israel, the salt of the earth, man. Right, but this particular scripture goes on to say, but if the salt have lost its savour, wherewithal shall it be salted? It is henceforth good for nothing but to be cast out and to be trodden under foot of men. Right, but the point I wanted to get there is that the children of Israel are the salt of the earth, man. Right? Rather than, you know, you know, you know um, what, what else do I want to get? Right, so we'll grab this, Isaiah 11, 11. It says, and it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall set his hand again the second time to recover the remnant of his people, which shall be left from Assyria and from Egypt and from Pathros and from Cush and from Elam and from Shinar and from Hamath and from the islands of the sea. So what this is going on, what this is going into is the fact that in the time of salvation, the Lord is basically going to uh, uh, go to the four corners, you know, send his angels rather to the four corners of the earth. And he's going to take Israelites from everywhere, from Assyria, from Egypt. Right, from Pathros and from Cush and from Elam. And this is one of the precepts that I put in the comment that I made. Why? So when, once again, so why I'm, I'm, I'm just there like, right, okay, so this this is just slander then, right? Because like, you know, I see other comments there that were left and whatever, what have you, you get served. Some which were basically like, are oh, you a Moabite or whatever. Right? And the reason why I'm saying, like, I ain't making a case for her but at the end of the day this thing of ours is more than just oh you look like that so that's what you are well you go by the spirit 
All right, but once again, going into this thing of like, you get certain people who have uh, grown up around their heathen, uh, you know, the surrounding heathens, and they come across a lot like a heathen, right? But then they'll do something, maybe it might just be one thing. You're like, right, and actually, no, this, this, this guy ain't no heathen, right? Which is why this thing of ours is spiritual, right? Even our, <laughs> I say our arch enemy, our arch nemesis vocab. Hey, the apostles uh, uh, would, you know, said it straight. It's like, look, man, you, you know, because his father's of German descent. He said, you could be an Israelite, right? You know, he, hey, he could be, right? I mean, you know, personally, I'll speak for myself. All the Germans that I've met, you know, not saying all Germans are Israelites, not saying that at all. Just saying um, the Germans that I've encountered, for the most part, they're Israelites. Me, personally, when I look up vocab, I'm like... Oh no! I don't think you fall into that, but hey, it's it's it gets more than me, right? That's why the scriptures um have uh have have this parable, right? We, uh, right? It says Matthew thirteen and twenty four, right? It says and another parable put he forth unto them, saying, The kingdom of heaven is likened unto a man which sowed good seed in his field. But while men slept, his enemy came and sowed tares among the wheat, right, and went his way, right. But when the blade was sprung up and brought forth fruit, then appeared the tares also, right. So the servants of the householder came and said unto him, Sir, didst not thou sow good seed in thy field? From whence then hath it tares, right? He said unto the unto them, An enemy hath done this, right. So. Right, so you get certain, because that's, that's another thing, you get certain Israelites, so you get certain uh, individuals that will look like an Israelite, but really they're a tear, right? They actually are, 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 are you know, one of the other nations, because once again, as we read in Numbers one eighteen, it's all about your father's line, right? He said unto them, an enemy hath done this. The servant said unto him, uh, 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 wilt thou then... That we go and gather them up. But he said, Nay, lest while you gather up the tares, you re root up also the wheat with them. Right? Let both grow until the harvest. And in the time of harvest, I'll send to the reapers. I'll say to the reapers, Gather ye together first the tares and bind them in bundles and bear them. <laughs> but gather the wheat into my barn. Right? So, uh, them ter the, so them reapers, the angels, speaks about um, uh, the angels will, will separate the, the, the roughly pathway, I think, to separate the sheep from the goats. Basically, the angels are the ones that are going to be able to say, Israelite, heathen, Israelite, heathen, right? Because ultimately, once again, if we were to go off by what we know, we'll, we'll kill someone that's an Israelite and try to save someone that's actually a heathen, right? Which is, once again, which is why it's not up to us, right? And it's the angels that are going to be doing the sifting, right? But none of the elect of Israel, no matter how they look, right? You know what I mean? Is is that why you delete the comment? Because I said you yourself might be one, might be an Israelite, right? Because Israelite, once again, Israelites come in all shapes and sizes, man, right? You know, and 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 just to close up the point on the you know the way you cut up that video, right? If your if your line goes back to Israel, then you are Israelite. But if your line goes back to a Moab or one of them heathen nations, then guess what? You're going to serve a thousand years of hardcore bondage, right? For all of the things that your people did to our people. And then after that, you're going to be someone's concubine, man. If 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 you're lucky, or you're just going to be another Moabite. And that's it, man. Right? People try to complicate this thing of ours, but it ain't it ain't it ain't that complicated, man. Right? Which uh, you know the scripture says in Matthew 13. Uh, uh, you know, bless your eyes for they uh, for they see. Right? So if you see this, right, then hey, you have truly been blessed. Which is why we always have to give praise to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh for having mercy on us to understand these scriptures and not be tripped up by the whole thing about the Israelite foreigners, right? No, I said, I'm only saying that just for completeness sake. I don't, I don't care what you are, right? But once again, we just have to be complete and and you know and uh, 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 and what we teach, you know. Um, it says Matthew ten eighteen. Uh, I'll start from. 
17 but beware of men for they will deliver you up to the matthew 10 17 but beware of men for they will deliver you up to the councils and will scourge you in their synagogues and you shall be brought before governors and kings for my sake for a testimony against them and the gentiles right so hey hey you go on you know these these heathens all of them these jakes or whoever they go and band together they go and uh uh try to bring us before council you know obviously starting off the hierarchy right they go and try to do all of that but ultimately it's going to be a testimony against them right because the lord is going to start working a work in these last days right which is going to be uh you know a a work that you that the lord look man as the apostle was saying in this in today's camp I'm trying to find the right words as the apostle was saying in in, in camp today or rather yesterday's camp 2,000 years ago when Yahusha was born, that was a heavy time, right? But in this time, that's gonna, it's gonna, it's, 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 a, it's a heavy time in this time too, right? So the Lord's gonna be doing things that are gonna be out of this world. Uh, and let me see if I can find it. Um, ah, I forgot how it's afraid, but you know, the scriptures say what the Lord did, we go and do that and greater in terms of the miracles. And you read the end of either Mark or John. But it's basically saying all the works that Yahweh did, right? They he did so much that it you know you, you couldn't if or basically said if you couldn't write everything, and and you know if you if he did write everything, the books would reach up to the, up to heavens, man, right? Very roughly paraphrasing. Once again, it's just it's the last um it's the last. Let me read it because I butchered that so bad. Salakia, no, and I'll end it. Um. I'll just read um, point John twenty one twenty five says and there and there are also many other things which Yahusha did the which if they should be written every one I suppose that even the world itself even it was even worse than that so, so I, I suppose that even the world itself could not contain the books that should be written a month right so in this space of three years Yahusha did a lot of miracles man right. You know, uh, Yahusha did a lot of miracles. Rather, you know, actually, no, I can't even say that. But Yahusha did a lot because I, I gave that time span. Well, I shouldn't have given that time span. But basically, Yahusha did a lot of stuff, man. Right. So, um, so yeah, hey, you know, the persecution is coming, man. Right. Pure crazy, as you see there. Right. Um, and I just wanted to grab another point. Because of I don't, I don't know if you can see, right? But if you look at the back, the name of our show is pseudo intellectual, man. Right now, let's look up that word pseudo. Just give me a sec while I look it up. Yep. So as you can see now, pseudo intellectual, plural, uh, a pseudo intellectuals, a person who claims proficiency in scholarly or artistic activities while lacking in depth knowledge. <laughs> or critical understanding. Uh, yeah, man. Hey, man. So, hey, once again, you, you, yeah, you cut yourself, man. You know, you cut yourself. Um, you speaking on things you don't know. You know, hey, scriptures talk about here the conclusion of the whole matter, man. Don't be going into things you don't know. Cause would you do? You make a fool out of yourself, man. Right? And then, uh, uh um, ah, oh, what does the scripture say? Uh, to Matthew eighteen and well, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start from five. And whoso shall receive one such little child in my name receiveth me. Why oh, am I starting at five? Let me read into it. Um, eighteen and three says, and verily, let me read from the top. It says at the same time. I came the disciples unto Yahusha, saying, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? And Yahusha called a little child unto him, and set him in the midst of them, and said, Verily I say unto you, except ye be converted, and become as little children. Because right? this thing of ours is all about humility. Right? And part of that humility, someday, because to uh, hum be humble, means you know, basically comes from the act of being humiliated. Right? And certain times you look back, it's like, shit. You might have called someone a heathen, and you're looking back, you're like, nah, he was that, that was actually an Israelite, man, you know. And then you kind of like, shit, hey, they, they, this thing goes deep, 
Hey man, it was one a, a guy I worked with. Guy looked like Esau. <laughs> he looked like a straight up Edomite, right? But then after a while, I had to just be like, nah, this guy's a Jake. Then when I inquired further of him, I was like, oh shit, you, okay, cool. I've learned a little bit about his family background and everything. And I was like, yeah, it may, see, it makes sense, right? You, I believe he said he was of um, Irish descent. And we took, we go into I Ireland, man. Right, you know, I have you have a, a, a people in there. Well, once again, Romans eight on sixteen. That's why, for instance, in in um, well, for me growing up, I met a lot of quote unquote mixed raced people, where the father was from the Caribbean and the mother was Irish. Why? Because all them spirits just got you know vibed together, right? And then they you know got together, right? And they he thought he was get that man that Caribbean that Benjamin man would have thought he's getting himself a Becky. But really, he was probably he's getting himself a Israelite woman, man, right? Um, so it goes on to say, Whosoever therefore shall humble himself as this little child, the same is greatest in the kingdom of heaven. This thing of ours is all about humility. And whoso shall receive one such little child in my name receiveth me. Right? But whosoever offend one of these little ones which believe in me, it were better for him that a millstone were hanged about his neck and that he were drowned into the depth of the sea. Right, so with you being a pseudo intellectual, right, a person who claims proficiency in scholarly or artistic activities while lacking in depth knowledge or critical understanding, right, so you had you speaking on things you didn't understand, and you doing so, you made an offense, right? You once again, uh, when it shows you, you see that the pure crazy, right? Right, you made an offense, and now you got to deal with the consequences. So it was better you had just kept your mouth shut. Right, you know, um, so yeah, to wrap up, look, you got Israelites all over the world, right? Um, in fact, let me just read out some presets you can go into, um, you know, in your in your leisure, right? I won't, I won't actually read them, I'll just read, I'll just read where they are. So Deuteronomy 4 27, Deuteronomy 28 64, Deuteronomy 30 and 3, Ezra 9 and 7, Isaiah 11 11 to 12. Isaiah 66 19, Jeremiah 12 and 9, Jeremiah 23 and 3, Ezekiel 20 and 34, Ezekiel 28 25, Ezekiel 36 19. Uh, the, really, Ezekiel 36 chapter uh, goes into quite a bit. That's a beautiful precept, that one. Um, chapter that one. So Ezekiel 44 and 9, Joel 3 and 2, Amos 9 and 9, Tobit 13 and 3. It's a quite a nice, quick, simple one. Confessing before the Gentiles, the children of Israel, for he hath scattered us among them. Um, so yeah, that's what we do. That's why we, we you know, we ain't gonna turn if a, if a so called uh, a, a mobite looking person came up to camp, we'll tell us, like, look, hey, you know, we that's what we're doing. We're trying the spirit, right? We're trying to work out okay, was this guy heathen? What, what is he? And you try, try to work them out, and then, uh, uh would you call it then the, uh, if they get it, then they, there's a chance that they're, they're Israelite, and you don't get it, sort of more than you might more, might more than likely be a, a mobite man. Right. Um uh yeah, Baruch four, thirty six to thirty seven, uh Baruch five and five, second Ezra's five twenty eight, uh Matthew twenty four thirty one, Luke twenty one twenty four, John seven thirty five Acts 2 and 5 and nice, another one I posted, nice and quick one, and they were dwelling at Jerusalem, Jews, devout men out of every nation under heaven, right, and it goes on to, you know, if you read further, it goes on to list different nations where the Israelites were coming from, right, because once again, our people are all around the world, right, if you, 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 if you say the Moors were Israelites, right, what were they doing, did they go to them, did they fight them battles with their women, no, so they would have gone to war without their women and then had sex with the women that were there and then their children would have had sex with the women that were there and then you end up with uh, 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 your Sicilians and you end up with, uh, uh, you know, so, you know, some of this, the Spanish that you see today, man, right? Somebody, you know, uh, Southern Italians that you see today, right? Then you end up, and, and that's something that Israel has been doing all over time. Just look at Vietnam. Right, Jake went and fought wars over there in Vietnam, and they had they 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 left seed over there, man. And Jake went to go uh, on military bases in Osaka in Japan, and guess what? They they're knocking up them Japanese women, man. Right. In fact, would you call? Let me just do a little quick Google. Naomi 
see if um what do you call that Haitian Naomi Osaka see whether her pe her, whether her father was actually a um a what do you call it a let me let me pause and find yeah so her father Naomi Osaka uh, her father basically he was just on holiday he found himself a Japanese chick so would you think them a uh, Jake's are that are over there based in Osaka. Japan are doing they're getting they're dealing with them more uh, Ammonite women man right so hey our people are scattered everywhere and I, you know I said I've kind of you know gone gone too long on this um so yeah lords as always lords will that was edifying to the next time shall one